Huawei's seventh annual mobile broadband forum here in Tokyo has been the biggest yet. We've welcomed more than 1,200 attendees, 3,500 square meters of exhibition space, and more than 20 industry partners, all showing the latest tech down on the show floor. The event kicked off Wednesday with, as ever, the CTO Roundtable, one of the major highlights of every MBBF. CTOs exchanged best practices, opportunities and thoughts with the spirit to push the whole industry forward towards 5G and beyond. After Wednesday's CTO Roundtable, we began the main conference and exhibition. The opening show day at MBBF saw Huawei Deputy Chairman Ken Hu unveil Huawei's new X Labs initiative with a focus on how mobile innovation will create a better connected world. We hope that the X Labs could become a new open platform where we can bring together technology providers, carriers, and companies from all vertical industries to jointly explore the use case of mobile communication in different scenarios. The afternoon session began with a look at the road to 5G with Huawei's Ryan Ding outlining the company's vision to 2020. Other keynote addresses included the GSMA, GTI and SoftBank, and attendees engaged in hands-on demos on the exhibition floor, while also learning about Huawei's latest technologies for the 4.5G and 5G markets, including Cloud RAN and its X-Labs initiative. Day two's conference here in Tokyo kicked off with a presentation from the CTO of Canadian operator TELUS, who gave us an update on his company's 5G developments. And we heard from Thai operator True, which has recently paid $3 billion for Spectrum and launched the world's largest 4.5G network, pushing it from the country's last market entrant to a true market leader in mobile broadband. Elsewhere in day two's morning session, we turn to the mobile payment space, hearing from MasterCard on how they are navigating the digital maze, as well as M-Pesa pioneer Safaricom. Panel discussions later in the morning cover the subject of how to continue innovating in a tech city world, featuring guests from SoftBank, BT Group, TELUS, TDC and Huawei. The morning's conference closed with Huawei's president of wireless solution outlining the company's moves to support next generation mobile infrastructure. With so many topics under discussion at this year's MBBF, the afternoon on day two split into five dedicated summits. In partnership with the GSMA, the Mobile IoT Summit welcomed Vodafone's Luke Ibbotson as keynote speaker. The 5G Summit focused on how we can bring 5G to reality. The 4.5G Network Development Summit saw updates from Turkcell, China Mobile Hong Kong, TDC and Globe. Two other summits also captured attention, the Cloud Transformation Summit and a cross-industry collaboration roundtable. Well, that's it from this year's MBBF here in Tokyo. It's been the biggest mobile broadband forum yet from Huawei, and we're very much looking forward to seeing you again next year.